Hello everyone, welcome to part 4 of Laravel interview series uh, and in this video we are going to cover the most expected questions of Laravel that the interviewer can ask. So welcome to the 2024-25 edition of this Laravel interview series in which we are going to cover almost all the questions that the interviewer may ask. Okay, so uh, let's start. Let's see the first question. So what is middleware in Laravel? So this is a very important question that the interviewer may ask. And one more thing I want to tell you that this uh, particular session, this particular uh, lesson uh, and this particular video uh, covers four out of five rating okay so the uh, so this is the most expected questions we are going to cover that the interviewer may ask so please watch everything very carefully so so this is the first question that is what is middleware in laravel so first of all let's see its answer middleware acts as a bridge between a request and a response Okay, so uh, what middleware do? Middleware acts as a bridge between a request. A request is always from the user and response is from the server. Okay, request from the user and response from the server. It is a type of filtering mechanism. Laravel includes an auth middleware by default that verifies whether the user of the website is authenticator or not. Okay, so uh, let's see further. So this is the diagram, uh, middleware diagram that I am going to explain you. So see what middleware do whenever any user request anything from the website or application, uh, then middleware comes into play. So uh, like uh, uh, auth middleware um, comes in Laravel by default uh, that uh, helps to prevent the unauthorized access. Uh, like if a user wants to assess the account page so first whenever user will uh, see type that URL that account URL anything website.com slash account then at that time first the middleware will check that the user is logged in or not so that is the purpose of the middleware that auth middleware come into play and that will verify that the user is logged in or not okay so at that time if the user is not logged in then he will redirect the user to the login page or if the user is logged in then he will go to that account page whatever he is assessing so that thing that comes in middle okay as the name suggests that comes in middle middle of the user request and response from the website response from the laravel so that middle thing is called middleware okay so i hope that uh, it is a bit clear to you okay so uh, that middle thing is the middleware uh, that checks uh, that uh, uh, whatever the request comes from the user and uh, that will check and verify that what is the request and and uh, and where uh, the control must go okay so like i have uh, explained you in example like for example in Laravel e-commerce series that we have done so far, we have used Laravel auth middleware for protecting the front routes. Okay, we have used this uh, default auth middleware uh, for protecting the front routes, front routes like uh, account route, checkout route, okay, uh, orders route. So all these kind of routes uh, for which the login is required, all those routes we going to we are protecting with the help of this auth middleware, and for admin middleware for protecting the admin routes like whatever happening in admin panel okay so we have created that admin middleware for protecting the admin routes okay so we can create as many middleware as we want in the laravel application okay and their purpose uh, we will define their purpose as well so whatever the middleware is they have some role and uh, and they will manage those roles okay uh, so those roles uh, we are going to write those roles okay so i hope that middleware is clear to you so let's see the next question see separate video for middleware is already there you can check that video okay for more details let's see the next question so what is laravel eloquent orm so let's see its answer 
लारावल कम्स विद एलेक्वेंट ऑब्जेक्ट रिलेशनल मैपर ओ आर एम विच प्रोवाइड्स एन एक्सट्रीमली ईजी वे टू कम्युनिकेट विद ए डाटा बेस ईच डाटा बेस टेबल इज मैप इन टू कोरोस्पॉन्डिंग एलेक्वेंट मॉडल एंड ईच ऑफ द एलेक्वेंट मॉडल ऑब्जेक्ट इंक्लूड वेरियस मैथड्स फॉर रिट्रीविंग एंड अपडेटिंग द डाटा बेस एलेक्वेंट ओरम हेल्प्स टू परफॉर्म क्रड ऑपरेशन ऑन लारावल मॉडल्स एंड अलाउ अस टू वर्क विद द डाटा बेस ऑब्जेक्ट्स एंड रिलेशनशिप्स ओके सो वट लारावल एलेक्वेंट आर दे आर कनेक्टेड विद द डाटा बेस ओके सो वट एवर वट एवर क्वेरीज वी आर राइटिंग इन लारावल लाइक एडिंग लाइक इंसर्टिंग द डाटा इन टू द टेबल और रीडिंग द डाटा फ्रॉम द टेबल आई एम गोन टू शो यू एग्जाम्पल एज वेल Uh, see okay so this is the diagram see example comes in the next uh, maybe in the next question but this is the diagram that will explain you more like this one is the orm that is directly connected with the model and also connected with the db connection okay uh, we know that we used to create lot of models in our laravel application liquent orm helps the model to connect with the database to to fetch the data from the database or, or to insert the data into the database okay so eloquent orm helps to perform the crud operation as well okay so almost in every module we have used this crud operation in the e-commerce series we have used these crud operations all these crud operations performed with the help of the eloquent orm that contains some set of uh, uh, we can say the some set of laravel queries Uh, like the new queries or select query or uh, or uh, update query see all these kind of queries are the part of the eloquent orm okay that helps us to perform the crud operation okay so uh, yeah, this uh, eloquent orm helps us to retrieve and update the database okay and like the diagram shows uh, by this eloquent orm we directly connect with the model as well as the db connection okay to execute the queries and to get the result so this is the eloquent laravel eloquent okay and we also call it as object relational mapper orm so i hope that it's clear and we are going to see its example let's see give any example of uh, laravel eloquent orm so let's see the example laravel eloquent orm helps to perform crud operations and relationships okay like uh, i have explained earlier below is the example of inserting new record in database with eloquent like i am telling you the new command okay new command to insert the data into the database so this is the new command inserting new record and in this way we used to insert the new record in the database so this set of these query set of these statement is a part of the laravel eloquent okay so like this update query and the uh, select query is also the part of the laravel eloquent so complete crud operation uh, is the part of the laravel eloquent okay so separate video is already there in the video description you can check that video for more details for the laravel eloquent okay so let's see the next question list types of relationships available in laravel eloquent so we used lot of relationship in in uh, in our laravel eloquent series and in the other series as well all the time laravel multi vendor eloquent series as well okay we used to uh, create many relationships so let's see which kind of relationship comes in the laravel eloquent okay see one to one one to many one to many belongs to has uh, one of many has one through has many through so these are the relations uh, we use in laravel okay and it's the part of the laravel eloquent okay so if the interviewer will ask you that list types of relationship available in laravel eloquent or what are the relationships we can use with laravel eloquent so you can simply name these relations and first three relations one to one one to many and belongs to relation we used a lot okay if you will open any of our uh, application any of our, our website i'm going to show you practically okay so uh, in laravel e-commerce series in the laravel 10 series as well we have used them a lot i'm going to show you uh, i will open one of my project here uh, project 10 here it is so i'm going to open this one 
and here I'm going to show you like uh, in product model so here you can see belongs to see this product, product belongs to this uh, category so the uh, here we have used the belongs to so this product belongs to this brand so again we have used the belongs to and this product uh, is having the attributes and is it is having the images as well so has many we have used here so has many as well as the belongs to see so all these kind of relation we have used in the laravel e-commerce series so uh, we use such kind of uh, relationship in uh, our uh, uh, in laravel eloquent okay one to one one to many belongs to we have used a lot and has one of many has one through has many through uh, we don't use we don't often use but uh, uh, see in uh, we are going to see them in detail in future videos in the future upcoming videos of the interview series in more advanced series uh, okay but if the interviewer will ask you just give the uh, just tell the names then you can just uh, just uh, tell them the name don't go further okay so but we are going to work on these uh, very soon so let's see the next question what is query builder in laravel so let's see its answer laravel's query builder provides more direct access to the database alternative to the eloquent orm it does not require sql queries to be written directly instead it offers a set of classes and methods which are capable of building queries primarily okay so uh, here so this query builder is the alternate okay alternate solution to the uh, eloquent orm okay so uh, we can also use the query builders but uh, the query see the purpose is the same here like uh, we can use some kind of classes and method like the one of the method that we use like the db packet is one of the method that we can use with the query builder okay so uh, like uh, i will uh, like i will tell like many times we have used that uh, which fetch data from the table like db table and then then we have given the table name and another way is uh, by making the model and after that we can directly include that model and fetch data from that model okay so so i think that this query builder is uh, for large projects like uh, if we have the database very heavy database and we want to fetch the data from there then we are going to use this this query builder okay so uh, so this is a we can say like the alternative of the alternate solution uh, to the eloquent orm okay uh, that uses the set of classes and methods and the purpose is the same to uh, to to build some queries to execute uh, uh, some queries to get the results okay uh, so let's see the next question what is the difference between laravel eloquent versus query builder so see uh, so now we are going to see the difference between these two use laravel eloquent when you process a single record or a few records there is nothing to worry about but for cases when you read lot of records example data grids for reports for batch press uh, for batch processing the query builder plain laravel db method is a better approach okay so see like i have explained you earlier as well that uh, if the project is small if there is few single records to fetch then the laravel eloquent is the best way to do but if uh, we are going to fetch the last data we are going to fetch the data grids reports batch processing okay then at that time we can use the query builder like laravel db facade we can use that is the better approach at that time okay so here you can see that same query like we have done in both way in the laravel e-commerce series if you have seen that we have executed the both queries uh, this is the eloquent uh, that in which we have simply call the data with the find method from this id okay we have fetched the data from the products table that is connected with the product model and we have uh, used the find method to get the details of the particular record okay so with the help of the query builder we have used the db facade so this one we have directly connected the products table here we have not used the model at all and here uh, the purpose is the same here also we are fetching the data here also we are fetching the data of the same product but here 
the process is bit fast because maybe the products table is having the uh, 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 millions of records okay so at that time this execution of this query is fast because this is the query builder where we can directly connect it with the table okay so that is the difference between the laravel eloquent and the query builder i hope that it's clear to you let's see the next question so it's all over so we have seen many important question in this series in this particular video in this particular session and uh, the interviewer may ask one of these question so you must take it seriously and try this one at your end practically try this and in the next video we will come up with more interview questions and that will surely help you to, to crack the interview okay so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye